Next question is from Flunky Com. What's the best way to grow the hamstrings? You know, it's funny about the hamstrings. It's it's in men. It's one of the body parts that guys think are not that big of a deal. They don't like to place a lot of focus. I'm going to tell you something right now. If you want, first off, women don't like men with underdeveloped legs. It's a joke, but it's true. You want to have balance in your body just from an aesthetic perspective. Forget performance. It's obviously important for performance. But if you want your legs to look incredible, have developed hamstrings. I think that develop it, hamstrings. I think it's so weird to not think that. It's it would be like because no one would ever say, "Hey, I want great arms, but skip triceps." Yeah, or not <laughs> have good. Shoulders. You just do biceps, but skip mm -hmm. triceps. I mean, they would just think that's absurd. It's the mm -hmm. same concept. Like if you want to develop yep, great legs, yeah. I, I actually think it's it's more so that it's one of the more difficult. Uh, muscles to find a lot of different exercises for it. and people again think that you need all this variety and, and changing up different yeah. you know machines and exercises to do it and so well most people think the leg curl is the best well yeah hamstring exercise. it's the it's the easiest most basic thing to do it and then a lot of people don't deadlift a lot mm -hmm. of people don't do good mornings you know mm -hmm. which are great movements and are great for the hamstrings yeah. but a lot of people don't do them yeah. so between that and then the hamstring machine being kind of and donkey the the donkey kickback or whatever like the yeah. the two main machines that you see in gyms i think that has a lot to do yeah, with why no, they don't no hands down uh romanian deadlift uh was in my experience is the best overall hamstring developer it just it works the whole hamstring you can load it significantly you can get really strong romanian involves a knee bend mm -hmm. that's fixed so stiff legged so would the be knee a, doesn't come forward it just stays it's in yeah place, you bend so. the knees but then it's fixed right so that takes some pressure off the lower back and allows you to really load the hamstrings. And if you're good at it, you've got good technique and good stability. Uh, I mean, I've 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 done uh, Romanian deadlifts with four uh, over 400 pounds, mm -hmm. um, and really I can feel and see the development of my hamstrings. The hamstrings are super important for deadlifts, for any version of deadlifts, for squats. And then if you're an athlete, oh my god, it, it's crucial. You have if you have weak hamstrings, yeah. hamstring tears are common. Because yeah. of you know hamstrings, it's that are all not how, about how you decelerate over mm -hmm. right? overpowered quads too. That's yeah. why you see that in baseball players running to first base, it's like one of the most common injuries yes. because they're they're so strong on the on the anterior on the front side on your quads yeah. they overpower so they're so fast the hamstring can't keep up with the quad powering yeah. them forward and that's where it goes Pah! so common and that's yeah, why wide receivers yeah. uh, outfielders you see that all the time and, it, and it's because we put so much focus. On the front, on the quads, right. and they overpower, and then the, the that posterior can't chain is, is is essential for keeping you healthy and, and uh, injury free. You know, yeah. I, and I think the the answer to this is just never should your workout not include, you know, either stiff legged Romanian conventional deadlifts, some uh, kind of or, a hip pinch. Or, or good mornings mm -hmm. should be in there, uh, and. Do not put a lot of energy and emphasis on all the machine hamstrings, yeah. the seated mm -hmm. hamstring curls, the line. Not that they don't have value. No, they're great. Yeah, if you did the other stuff. That's right. It, yeah. It's a great way to complement all those. But you know, and and I'm guilty of this as a young kid lifting that you know my hamstring work was just the two or three hamstring machines because yeah. I never deadlifted or did any of those hard exercises. But boy, nothing developed my hamstring. I'll you know what else brought my hamstrings up actually that um, was later was when I started uh, deep squatting. Oh yeah, I actually was really. There's surprised. actually decent activation at a deep squat. Yeah, yeah. I, I it was something I wasn't looking to get or uh, from that, and it, it was like a side effect that when I started uh, squatting, where when I worked on my depth and got to a t place where I could get really deep squats, I actually would get sore hamstrings a yeah. lot. I thought, oh, that's really weird. I've never had that from squatting. <laughs> Always my quads yeah. and glutes, but never do I feel my hamstrings. But once I got into a, a really deep squat, my hamstrings got a lot of work. Here's too. here's one of the best best two exercise combinations I've ever done for hamstrings for any client and in myself, and it produces tremendous gains. Romanian deadlifts and then physio ball leg curls. Oh, those are brutal. Physio ball leg <laughs> curls. First off, here's why I like them better than machine curls. Now, it's true you can't load them the same and all that stuff. I get that, but here's the difference. You activate your hips at the same time. Yes, because yeah. if you're in, first off, if you do a machine leg curl, especially the one where you lay on your stomach, if you really want to feel in the hamstrings, what you need to do is pull your pull your thighs off the off the pad. So what you're doing is you're, you're activating the glutes and then doing the hamstring curl, and you'll feel the hamstrings versus what people tend to do, which is they stick their butt up mm -hmm. and hit their hip flexors while they while they curl with the hamstring. Yeah. Try it the other way and see what happens. 
When you do a physio leg, uh, physio ball leg curl, it promotes that. You have to. Yeah. You have to shoot the hips up and get that squeeze uh, all the way through. Do that after Romanian uh, deadlifts and watch what happens. Oh, to your and, and if you think it's too easy, progress it to a single leg and you'll just destroy it. Oh, forget it. it. Who can yeah. do that? Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.